all right what's up y'all it's your girl jasmine and i'm back with another video this time it's going to be about and i'm probably looking in the wrong place i'm looking that way i'm supposed to be looking that way i'm sorry but this time it's going to be about this hair that i'm currently wearing which is seven strands raw exten extensions i can't talk today and i don't know if i did a video on this hair but if i did oh well here's an update um, but yeah if you want to know more stay tuned and yeah so this hair is called seven strands raw extensions um i got this hair back in either february or march of this year i can't remember um but it is southeast asian straight hair um i currently have it in two 20 inches and two 18s and y'all probably looking like there's no way my girlfriend don't even want to believe that this is only 20 inches and i'm gonna show y'all why in a minute but this is it straight out the bonnet. Like, I didn't flat iron it. I didn't put nothing in it. I didn't do anything. Um, I did color it jet black, so it doesn't come as color. It comes like a 1B, like a brown black. But this is jet black. Um, and the closure is not from Seven Strands. It's from the wig dealer. And it's HD invisible. And when I say HD invisible, it's HD invisible. Like, it came like pre plucked and pre-bleached already so i didn't even pluck it i bleached it for like 40 minutes but other than that this is it like i didn't do anything girl and it's a five by five closure like it goes all the way from here to here and it goes all the way back and it's five i love it like i said it's 20 inches i am five six and a half five seven and this is it all to the front don't mind my shirt it's i'm off i'm chilling oh well and this is the ends like it comes like that like i didn't cut it or anything like it's so thick and i'm gonna show you how it looks from behind Hold on. comes like literally before my eyes <laughs> like literally that's what it's like mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. yeah it's super super long this is the longest hair that i've ever had like that's 20 inches my girlfriend like i said she don't want to believe it's 20 inches but that's because it's literally like raw hair so raw hair is always going to be true to length like I have a 24 inch wig that I just got sent to me and I want to say it's like the same size, the same length as this 20 inch. What? Oh, look, we want to make a guest appearance. Say hey. What do you want, buddy? Hmm. What is it? Spoiled, child. Spoiled. What is it? You looking at that window now? You want to go out there? You so bad. Is you gonna sit right here? Okay, we'll sit right here then. All right. But yeah, y'all. Yeah, um, like I said, three bundles and a five by five closure is so cool. I did this hair on last Saturday, like made the wig and colored it, and I fly lined it. I went over it again this past Sunday, but I haven't hit it since. Like, I literally just wrap it, um, wrap it with some and some clip it so that it won't fall. It usually falls anyway, but I put a scarf and a bonnet on, and this is it. I know y'all can see like a little wave in the closure, but it looks natural. But y'all, this is some of the best hair I've ever had. What, boo boo? You ain't nothing on that table. You think it's some food up there? Hmm. 
Hey, buddy, buddy. Oh, thank you for the kisses. You being sweet today? I guess. He must know I'm filming. I'm gonna stop playing. He always like this. So yes, this is my fur baby, Chase. And he's a year and what month we in? Five months. This is the biggest he gonna get. He just got a haircut Monday too. He's usually like really, really fluffy, but we had to give him a summer cut because it's hot out. He the only child, that's why. But y'all, um, I don't know. I love this hair. I don't have anything bad to say about it, like nothing at all. Um, and when I dyed it, let me see I did. When I colored it jet black, I did a uh, clear rinse because I saw somebody do it on TikTok. All it is is clear dye. And you put it on top of this after you get done rinsing the jet black dye out with some conditioner all that you just put the clear rinse on top and then put like some conditioner in it let it sit in the bag and it is so shiny like i literally haven't put no products on my hair i'm telling y'all this is straight out of the bonnet like no products and nothing when i fly down it and did all that that's when i put my products in it but i don't wake up and put product in right here like i just get up and go and it has so much shine and body and movement and luster like Look at that shine. Literally, I haven't put anything in my hair. What? You were so spoiled. What's what's wrong? I'm sorry, y'all. I know how it is if y'all have a fur baby. He's so spoiled. Ain't nothing wrong with him. He done ate, went outside. He looking out the window, child. <laughs> if he ain't rubbing on him, you don't love him. But, um, yes, I love this hair so, so, so much. I plan on buying every texture that she has. Like I said, this is the raw South East Asian straight. She just dropped Cambodian straight and it's a pretty, pretty brown, like a light brown. This is natural color. I can't wait to get that. She has a Southeast Asian wavy and then she has curly. And I say I'm gonna get all her textures because the wig that I just got is great. Like it's, there's nothing wrong with it, but the smell of it, you can tell like it's processed hair. With this, what's wrong, you wanna jump down? Um, with this hair, there's no smell. Like when I flat iron it, when I wash it, when I curl it, there's no smell. You know how when you get hair like off AliExpress or not raw hair, just like regular version hair, Malaysian hair, whatever name you want to put on it. You know how when you put heat to it, it's like that. Oh, that smell. This I hate that smell. Now I can't stand it. So I know raw hair is a bug, but I rather pay it and not deal with that smell. I don't know. It just makes my hair hurt. It doesn't smell good to the nose. Like I said, virgin hair, you get some you get some great virgin hair, but I just don't like the smell anymore. So if I don't have to deal with it, I won't. Now I will um, let you know it's pricey, but I'm thinking about it over time. Because this hair, I know this hair is going to last me years and years and years. I've had some good AliExpress hair that has lasted me three plus years. So I know this hair is going to last me at least seven or eight, eight years. Like... I mean, just look at it. It looks brand new, like I just got out the pack. Like I said, I got it in February, March. That's not old to me. Um, a year is not even old to me, but I'm, you know, when you're used to not buying raw hair, anything after six months is like, all right, girl, we're gonna cut it into a bob or what we gonna do. But I don't have to worry about this, so I don't mind spending that much money now. Cause I mean, I could just wear this here. I could just keep taking the closure off and placing with a front on a front with a closure. like. I don't have to worry about my bundles. I can just re replace, you know, the closure or the frontal. I don't mind that. But I like to have options because I'm going to keep this as my everyday unit. Like, keep it jet black, bust down on side part, yada, yada. So, I don't want to manipulate this hair. Like, I don't want to color it or cut it. I want to keep it this length. Like, this is a great length for everyday hair. Like, I love it. Um, and I plan on going blonde for my birthday, and I'm definitely going to buy for her because it's so hard to find good blonde extensions without them being, you know, dry sh and, like, shedding and brittle. I don't want that. I want my blonde hair to be laid, like, laid. If I'm going to do blonde, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, when I get that hair, I, that's probably when I'll update y'all next because I don't have anything else to say about this hair. Like, it's great. Like, go get it. 
I want to say one for a 20 inch is like 135 and for an 18 inch is like 130 and then you know you got to buy the closure in the front too so all together you're gonna look around and spend like five hundred dollars $400, $500. Sometimes she like does a sale with like coupons, but get ready to spend at least $400, $500 on the hair. But like I said, it's gonna last you a lifetime if you take care of it because it's legit. So, mm -hmm. anytime I could just wake up and just go, like, and just go, girl, I'm gonna do it. It looks so natural, like, it's just so. And I'm thinking about putting curls in it, but I want to come show y'all like how it looked like straight. And I wish I had a, a picture of it in its natural state because it looks good that way too, but it's straight here, so I'm gonna keep it straight. And I do suggest bamboo combs and brushes. Now, this is the Giovanni brand. I found this at TJ Maxx and literally the brush, it was two more left, but the comb, this was the last one left. And I heard like, Oh, I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break it. But um, the lady that's over seven strands, I wanna say her name is, I'm gonna go say her name because I can't remember. I don't wanna say the wrong name. But she was explaining on her live like two weeks ago how, and I'm so sorry if I'm gonna look in the camera. It's, it's a habit. But she was explaining how bamboo combs and brushes have like negative ions so they won't frizz as much or have much static and it makes sense when you think about it so i'm like let me go ahead and get these because it does i can tell like a difference on my hair when i use it it doesn't it's not as frizzy or as staticky when i use it and it stays flat and i'm just ever since i heard that i was like well i do have raw extensions let me get the right products for it because I have her line of her seven strands shampoo and conditioner. She has a mask because she actually made a point. She makes a lot of points, but she was saying how you don't really see Asians and Chinese going into, you know, the beauty supply stores and using stuff on their hair. So why would you go to like a drugstore or a beauty supply store and use that product on raw hair? And it makes sense. So I just stick with her stuff. I stick with her line and whatever she recommends for the hair, I'm going to do it. So girl. If you got some raw extensions or even for your natural hair, get bamboo brushes and combs because it does make a difference. And they were just like, let me see how much. The comb was $4.99, the brush was $5.99. And it looks like they're regular $10 a piece. So, child, go down to your local TJ Maxx and get you, um, I mean, look, no snag, just. And I don't get any shedding, girl. And that's, no, that's, I don't. I get like a strand, two strands a day. If a day. Because I just be running my hands through. So if I didn't run my hands through it as much, then it wouldn't shed. But girl, even if it do, I literally get like one or two strands a day. And even when I wash it and detangle it, I get like maybe five. <laughs> like it doesn't, I don't know. Like, you know when they say all hair sheds? Yeah, that's true. But like I said, I only get like one or two strands a day. It, it it don't shed. It don't really. It don't tangle. I'm gonna say it don't really. It don't tangle. It don't not. At the end, cause it's longer, it'll like snag like just at the end. But it's not nothing to crap about or really complain about, cause that's just what comes along. Okay, it's gonna snag at the end. But it, girl, ain't nothing. But a comb can't fix, child. Get them out and you good. So yeah, I literally gonna have to brush it or comb it at all. I do it when I get up and then before I go to bed. But. Other than that, this is the best hair. I don't want to go back to virgin hair. I tried it. I literally just bought that wig on Monday. But, yeah. Now that I wear raw hair, I know a difference. But, girl, get what you can afford, child. Just ask somebody for Christmas or birthday. Or, you know, just save up for it. Because it really is an investment. Your hair is an investment. It's a statement piece for me. Like, I mean, I make wigs. But, oh, I made this, y'all. Uh, yep. I made it. My mama and my girlfriend, everybody always get on to me and like, girl, you should be so big right now with the wigs in the hair industry. And I, I agree. I started making wigs like 2015, 2016. But I was just doing it because I got tired of paying stylists to do my hair and then I had to buy the hair. I'm just like, some got to give. So, child, I've been making wigs for a little minute now. I'm just now starting to get better at them. I'm, I'm still, you know, working on it. I'm not the best, but... I do a pretty good job. But yes, your hair is an investment. 
I feel like everybody should try it out. And if you're going to try it out, please try Stephanie Strange. Don't go to anybody else. I don't care what you heard or what you're saying. Don't go to nobody else. And she's so sweet. She always, like, do little list chats in her stories. And she replies back all the time under her posts and the DMs. She gives us all kind of tips. She's just so, so, so sweet. And I really, really, really. Child, it turned out on me, girl. Child, I thought. <laughs> Whew. I ain't know what I thought. My bad, y'all. I see now I looked around. I was scared. But, yeah, I think y'all should just try it. I mean, you can't beat it. You're going to get so many compliments. People be looking at me like, is it her hair or is it extensions? They don't know what to think. Because this closure really, really make it look like it's right here. And I didn't really do much with the baby hair, child. I just pulled some out and put it on that. But this is, this is it. If I really pluck this, this will really look good. But yeah, y'all, um, I'm just repetitive at this point now. We're talking like we we can folk. Please get the hair, get the hair, get the hair, get the hair. If you don't get it, tell your girlfriend to get it, your boyfriend to get it, your sugar daddy get it, get it. Not my son, he must want to play, so I'm really going to go. All right, I love y'all, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.